are sitting here in the sun and uh, have a very important message for you. The first thing you need to understand, you need to learn how to do, is how to separate fat weight and water weight. What's the difference between fat loss and weight loss? Uh, let's take notorious slimming world. They weigh a person on Monday and they weigh a person next Monday. If this person lost weight next Monday, whoo-hoo, it's success. If the person gained weight the next Monday, it's an epic fail. Uh, if you go to Instagram, uh, there is lots of drama about weigh-in days and people get really upset if they gained weight or didn't lose any weight. And this is heartbreaking and this is upsetting because most often the weight they gain or lose is mostly water. This is because to lose one pound of fat, we need to create an energy deficit of 3,500 calories. It takes time to create this amount, this size of energy deficit. Your daily fluctuations on the scale is mostly water fluctuations. The change in fat or the change in muscle weight takes time. Why understanding fat loss and weight loss and separating them is so important? Uh, this is because confusing weight loss and fat loss can be very misleading. Let's take keto diet or paleo diet or any low carb diet. What happens after two, three days or a week of following this diet? Tremendous, tremendous weight loss. If it was higher carb diet on the same amount of calories, the weight loss would not be as big. So this tricks many people into thinking that low-carb diets are more efficient. But what happens in reality is that when we eat less carbs, we store less glycogen. And glycogen is a stored form of glucose and it stores in water. For each one gram of glycogen in our muscles and liver, we need three grams of water. So one person overnight may gain or lose from one pound, or maybe one pound of fat, of weight, or six, pounds of weight. It depends on the size of the person, it depends on other factors, not only water storage, water retention and carbs. It depends on how big is current calorie deficit of this person. Normally, uh, people who go on a very, very low calorie diet would fluctuate more and when we do these wrong conclusions about our diet results, this leads us to wrong actions. And these actions can be damaging. There are lots of them, but I will give a few examples. Um, giving up carbs, for example, may result in craving carbs more and overeating them later, in a few weeks and few months. Many people get obsessed with carbs. Uh, another example, uh, if you are eating um, a normal diet with a small calorie deficit, you're looking at the scales and 
Olga, nothing is happening, nothing is happening. It is happening. Fat loss is a slow process. But there are actions you may choose to do because nothing is happening. Is push harder, is create bigger calorie deficit, is train harder. And it's not always good for your organism. It's not always good for your fat loss and for your hormonal health. It may lead to bigger metabolic adaptations, decrease of the calories we burn. It may lead to increased cortisol, lack of recovery and injuries, and so many other problems. So take home. Fat loss is not weight loss. Fat loss takes time. Weight loss may happen overnight. To be healthier, to look better, we want fat loss and for long-term result. If you want to just be lighter, maybe yes, <laughs> go for weight loss, go dehydrate yourself. 